It's hardly your typical roadside ad. I think the billboard's a little harsh. He doesn't try to persuade you to buy something or vote for someone. No, I think it's just perfect. Short of anti-abortion ads, it's one of the strongest messages you're likely to see while driving. This death by cell phone billboard is one of only two in the state. You can see it heading east on US 60, just outside of Frankfurt in Jet, just before the I-64 overpass. I agree with the cell phone. I don't think you should drive. Uh, and talking to cell phone, you should pull over. But I think that's it's a little harsh. But if it gets a point, if it gets the point by, then, then I can understand that. The point is, the driving while using a cell phone can be fatal. The billboard shows two people who died in accidents caused by other people using cell phones. The direction to the online ad is sponsored by the National Safety Council. A young lady had run a red light while she was distracted on a cell phone. Because I think people need to learn. I mean, it's no different than if you're sitting there putting your makeup in the morning if you're a woman. I mean, talking on a cell phone, you could take your mind away from the road. State and local law enforcement agencies say since 2004, 31 people have died in Kentucky crashes in which cell phones were a factor. Today, with text messaging seemingly more common, that risk may be greater than ever. People sit there and look down to see who's writing them or whatever. I can tell they're looking away, looking away from the, from the wheel and texting. So while this billboard may be controversial, even grim, the National Safety Council feels it's the only way to get their message across. Probably about 12 hours later, uh, they pronounced him dead at the hospital. He never regained consciousness.